Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's an SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. All right. For my first play, all right. it's Wednesday, Indiana versus New York, only game on the slate. I'm going with Obi Toppin. We've played him the last few games, over nine and a half points. Uh, used to be a Nick, and I believe it was last season. They uh, they traded him for for nothing, for future draft picks. So uh, besides him doing well in the last series, first the Bucks. Uh, he did well yet uh, the first game versus the Knicks. So I played him the last three times. I'm going to continue to roll with him. I feel like the point line is still too low. Um, I've been live betting his rebounds. I wait for it to go down a little bit, and then I throw that in there. So if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to this. Turn your notifications on. The last three days alone, I've been uh, nine and Nine and two, I think it is, in uh, live betting. As soon as I find the play, I drop it in the community. You get it. We all make money. Uh, all right, so we got Obi Toppin over nine and a half points. Shooting 53% from the field, 85% from free throws from the line, and uh, 31 from three point. Cash him again. Let's go. Play number two, going T.J. McConnell, uh, over 10.5 points. We got it at plus 105 right now in DraftKings. He comes off the bench. He's a point guard behind Halliburton. Halliburton's back. He's been having spasms, been questionable, but he's been playing. He hasn't been that effective. Still having crazy assists and stuff, but the uh, last few games – McConnell's been doing really well, 18 points, 20 points. Um, last 20 games, 65%. He's gone over this. Almost 70% versus the Knicks. He's gone over this. His minutes have ticked up. He's getting more minutes because of the Halliburton situation as well as he's playing good. So uh, field goals, he's shooting 51% from the field, almost 40 from three-point, and... He's shooting 100 percent from that stripe, so uh, yeah, he's been doing really well the last couple games. So I'm gonna go with him, T.J. McConnell over 10 and a half points. F assists minus 140. Uh, DraftKings you got a line shop. It's all over the place. It's all the way up to minus 170. Line shop. Uh, he's gone over this 8 out of 10, last 5, 100%, head-to-head, 88%. Um, I mean, I've only been, what I've done is I've only been going with the playoffs and stuff and how people are performing and stuff, and he's gone over this every time in the playoffs. Uh, he's averaging almost 9 potential assists. Getting 32 minutes. So uh, the Pacers are one of the highest assist teams. And uh, he's going to go over this. Got Andrew Nemhart over three and a half assists. All right, that's enough of them Pacers. Get into my New York Knicks. Go, New York. Go, New York. Go. First play, I got DiVincenzo over 16 and a half points. Minus 160 it's at right now. It's highly juiced. Uh, I played up to 175 in DraftKings. I played this last night. I got it for like minus 140. Um, they got his number at 18 and a half for plus money right now. 17 and a half for, for about right at uh, minus 105. I'm comfortable with the 17, comfortable with the 18. Uh, 
I would outline it back to whatever you're comfortable with the juice, depending on your unit size. He's gone over this last two games. He's back into his normal normal form. Uh, he's playing almost full game, shooting almost 45%, 40% from threes. From that stripe, he's shooting 90%. He's been staying out of foul trouble. He's back to his normal self. The line's getting back to normal. Um, my next play is with him as well. It's uh, blocks. I got him over a half a block. So he would have to get one block minus 110. Uh, last three games, he's had seven blocks. Head-to-head, 75%, he's gone over this. Last 20 games, he's 60%, he's gone over this. It's only one block, but he's not a big guy, but, you know, he's very active on both ends of the court. Uh, the paces are 21st and blocks allowed. They get their shots blocked a lot. So, yeah, the way he's been going, getting numerous blocks a game, I'm going to play it. Uh, Dante DiVincenzo over one block, half a block. All right, before I go into this, like the video, please, if you haven't already. For all my new viewers, subscribe, turn them notifications on so you get my plays instantly. I live bet, I'm very good at it. Um, Nine and two over the last three games. So where you get it instantly. And uh, you get to play that bet. Get it for what I'm getting it at. And, and get that paper. All right. I appreciate you. And comment. That's you right there. Right there. Don't look behind you. It's you. Please comment. Anything you can write. It helps the algorithm. Helps get the videos out there. So uh going with the Energizer Bunny, Josh Hart. Points over 15 and a half, almost minus 140. Uh he's gone over this last three games. He's been a beast in the playoffs. Um field goals, he's shooting 50%, 40 little over 40 from three, and 70 from that strike. And free throws. He plays almost the whole game, running back and forth. Uh, he's gone over 15 and a half points in six of his last seven games at home. Uh, he's a beast. He's been playing really well. You know, he's, he's part of that uh, that triplet that came from college. What, Villanova, I think it's called. I don't know how to say it, but uh, yeah, they play together. They've been playing together for years. And uh, Josh Hart over 15 and a half points. Go, New York. Go, New York. Go. All right. Next up, we got OG, original gangster, Adenobi. Points over 15 and a half, minus 130 on FanDuel. Uh, played him last game. He did not hit this. He had an off day. He came real close to it. But uh, I missed a couple of a couple of layups and uh, you know a couple of shots he normally would have made. So Robinson is hurt now; he's out for the rest of the year. Uh, Re-injured himself, and uh, I don't know if he's gonna have to pick up the slap as long as we're pressing the chewer and Hartenstein. Uh, but yeah, so he's gonna go over this. He's shooting almost 50% from the field, 42% three-point, and 50% from the line. Uh, averaging 40 minutes, two fouls a game, so he stays out of foul trouble. Like I said, he hit this, you know, he didn't hit the last game, but he's hit it four games before that. Paces are 27th and points allowed. They allow points. And I know he's both ends of the field. Uh, now saying that, I'm going to jump into my next play. I got him on, uh, no, I don't have him on blocks. I got him on steals. Over 
one and a half steals minus one ten. Uh actually they got that plus mo uh, even money right now. Place my bets the night before. But uh yeah, even money. He's gotten two in each of the last three games. The last five games, sixty percent, the last twenty games, fifty five percent. So, uh, like I said about his minutes, he's up there playing almost the whole games. He plays really good defense. Head-to-head, -head, 100%. From when, uh, uh, I guess because it's only one game. But still, 100%. I'll take that. Since the trade deadline, we acquired him. Uh, you know, Knicks have been on a roll with him since he got hurt for a little bit. But, uh. You know, he's definitely out there. Good defense. Definitely fits in uh, the coach's role, Tibbs' role. All right, so we got Adenobi on his points and on his steals. We go in. I got a first quarter prop. First quarter props, I do half units. Um, I got Hartenstein over three and a half points. Played this last game. I... Didn't put it in there. I always put all my bets in, and I forgot that I had placed this before I did my normal bets. Cashed. Um, the guy that minus 105. You know, Robinson's out, but even if he was playing, Hartenstein plays almost the whole first quarter. Nine minutes last game. Uh, last three games, he scored four points. You know, he's got this little push shot he does. He's been a, a little bit of a scoring threat. He's definitely been helping. His scoring's improved. Since Robinson got hurt in the middle of the year, Hartenstein really stepped up. And i uh, been watching him grow. He's really gotten better. Um, honestly, I kind of feel like he's better than, at least now, right now, better than Robinson. Robinson's not an offensive threat. So, yeah, I got him over three and a half first quarter points. Uh, you could play him. You could play his points if you want, his regular points. I would wait. If they drop it down, I'll throw it in the in the live bet. They got it at like 10 and a half, 11 right now. You know, I'd like it to be more around seven or eight. But, uh, yeah, I got Hartenstein first quarter over three and a half. All right, last but not least, I got Brunson over one and a half first quarter rebounds, uh, plus 164. Play this every now and again. I wish I would have played it last game. Uh, half unit, maybe a little less if you if you got a decent sized unit. Uh, he hit it last game. They be putting up a lot of shots between the, the both of them now in this pacey game. Um, you know, he, he yo-yos it, but he's either going to hit it or he's not going to hit it, right? Obviously. But, uh, they got it back up to plus, plus 160, so, uh, I'll take it. They you know him, they'll drop it back down, he starts hitting it, and they'll drop it down. But, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a ball. He's out there at both ends of the court. He ain't scared to play ball. Get it, get dirty. Let's go, New York. I got Brunson over one and a half first quarter rebounds. And, uh, yeah, so like the video, subscribe. We had a good day, a good couple days. Woo, it's hot in here. Nah, let me stop. But seriously, like and subscribe. Subscribe because I, be, I place a lot of bets first off. Uh, my unit size ain't that big. Betting $25 a play to be truthful. Um, I basically, I figure out the game and, and for the stats and I go through the books, there's hundreds of plays. So if you, some people say 10 plays is crazy. That's a lot to me. Like, yeah, it is kind of a lot, $25 a play, but I'm betting with normal people will bet. It's just, I have been doing this for a couple of years. So if I, I've raised my unit size and I didn't do as well, I do better at this. Um, so yeah, just bet responsibly. Uh, I play all my plays that I give out. I play them. 
so and my live bets so subscribe turn them notifications on and get them live bets i've been hot always been good at live bets you, you know i can read the game and and judge the lines and, and just beat the books that's why it's called sportsbook robbery ace money the name getting paper to game go new york go new york go how about them rangers too yeah new york we taking over <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.